What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're covering another ultimate classic, Eric Dolphy's Out to Lunch. So we've all been waiting quite a while for this release. This is the classic vinyl series release from Blue Note. It's a remaster from 2021. So this is from the original analog tapes. And again, a lot of people have been waiting for this. It's sometimes hard to find really great quality releases for this particular album from years past. So a lot of people have been waiting for this uh, for quite a while. And I put it on pre-order as soon as I could when it showed up. A lot of us also were skeptical though, because the classic vinyl series in particular has some hits and misses uh, coming from Blue Note. So unlike the Tone Poet series, at least in my experience, there have been some challenges on this one. But they did a great job on this one. So a little bit about this album in particular. So Eric Dolphy is a legend in his own right in terms of jazz itself. Uh, it's hard to explain exactly who he is or what he has done because a lot of people who aren't kind of mainstream jazz fans or kind of casual jazz fans don't know who Eric Dolphy is, but he has worked with all the legends and done such amazing things. And this one is his own group. This is in a category of jazz called avant-garde jazz, which makes me think of Zorro for some reason, but it is absolutely hard to digest if you are a casual jazz fan. So for a lot of people, it takes them quite a lot of time to really appreciate this album, but don't give up. Listen to it over and over. He does some amazing things with his bass clarinet and his timing might seem off to you, but as you learn more about jazz and you get more into it, you really start to love this album. And it is one of my favorites. So Blue Note on this one really didn't do a whole lot to kind of change it. The packaging is very similar to the original packaging, or at least I think it is because I don't have a copy of the original, but it's got the liner notes, which are the same. And quite often you run into this challenge when you're collecting albums where you can't tell one release from another when you have these situations where the packaging is the same. So for example, if you have the 63 release and then you have the 74 release, unless it is yellowed or aged, it's kind of hard to tell which one is which, right? Thank you to Blue Note because they actually put the date on this one. So that might sound strange, but a lot of releases don't actually have the print date on them. So you look at Discogs and you look in the notes and all that type of thing to try and figure out, well, which release do I have? Because you've got little nuances and things like that. This one actually has the date. There's a nice hype sticker on here, which will help out in terms of identification. And then of course, it's got the original, very cool artwork or photography on the front, which is in this nice blue filtered tint. So very cool album indeed. I would venture to say that the vinyl itself is actually also just like the original. Again, I'm not positive, but it has the blue note signature kind of layout and the design work. And it actually says 33 and a third stereo long playing on it. So that's why I think it's probably like the original. It's 180 grams. So again, you've got that great feel to it. Look at this thing spin on the turntable though. It is so flat. This one was a really great pressing. There is no wobble in there at all. In fact, I kind of had a hard time finding any. It sounds really good to me. Uh, it's got a very full sound. I see a lot of notes online and some comments about some back and forth on that possibility, but I had zero pops and cracks. I've listened to it multiple times because again, this is a great album and I think they did a great job. So this is that new release that just came out from Blue Note. Did you pick this one up? If so, what did you think? 